the long overdue movie the june 16 that is based on a true story the movie will depict an apartheid regime's brutality that led to a massacre of students in soweto back in 1976. the film premieres in february next year but to get more details on the movie we joined in our studios here in johannesburg by the executive producer of this movie Mzwake Mbole. Mbole, good morning to you and thank you so much for coming through good morning Balisa, and thank you for your time now the first thing that you said to me about this film Kihore. It was long overdue. 41 years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, under apartheid, this movie and its content would not have been allowed. It would have been banned immediately. Mm. If the previous regime would ban, would give chase to a photographer, whether Semzim, or would give chase to a good Samaritan, just Mbuyisa carrying a lifeless Hector Peterson, still harassed until he left the country. Mm. You know, mm. or a TAC who just happened to be appointed to be the spokesperson of the SSRC Soviet Student Representative Council, then had to be hunted down until he left the country. So, I mean, it, this movie was supposed to happen maybe immediately after 1994. Yeah, yeah. But again, um, it took so long, and I'm not sure why, but uh, it's about God City. And, and again, there is something that baffles my mind. Why the TRC didn't address this aspect and say people should come forward and be exempted from prosecution. Because uh, if you say June 16, you ended up with 300 people dead. Um, it, the toll was raised by the sniper fires of the green car. They were, there was this car with white occupants that were shooting at random, anything that was moving, a youth, the young people. Mm -hmm. Now, the world did not know that. And the apartheid regime was in charge of its own propaganda. So and no, the world would not be able to see that. So documenting our history was hampered by the fact that the regime itself pro that actually you know, perpetrated these war crimes was in charge. But I believe this movie will get to see such details. We are seeing untold truth to be revealed and exposed this yeah. time. I yeah. mean, if people died in detention, were pushed from the 10th floor to their death, Ahmed, Timor, and others will show them. Mm. I mean, so it means it's not a nice movie. Yeah. It's, it may end up with age restrictions, but we're telling the history. And uh, you have uh, Ino Sunguchana. You know, every year people don't know why 2016, even this year I'm sure they'll do. The march starts at Nadeli High School, uh, uh, Morris Isaacson to Orlando West, where Hector Peterson Memorial. But people don't explain. They don't know why. Morris uh, uh, when the department or band education said now Africans was going to be the medium of instruction, Inos Nguchana, he was a brave student in Nadi High. He wrote a letter to the minister saying we reject Africans. Yeah. As a then uh, on the th three days before June 16, the police went to Nadi High and uh, to arrest uh, Inos. Both David Kutumel is a pastor. Now they resisted. They banned the police car. So th that was drama. Three days before June 16. So later this guy was arrested tortured Palisa. Mm -hmm. He could not walk for three months. On the 16th of June, Enos was appearing in court. So the people don't know these things. Yeah. Even the, the famous photo of Sam Zima that the late Mrs. Sophie Tema, Libo Thomas Cross were in the car, but they fooled the pol police because when the police demanded that bring the, the, the film, both Sam Zima swapped the things around. Yeah. So, well, I'm are saying, you giving it away as it is now? But I, I no, believe... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot have, in we'll have, one hour, 30, 45 minutes. It's going minutes. to have many perspectives yeah. because there will also be some interviews included yeah, with yeah, struggle yeah. icons. It's very important. I think Winnie Matipkizela Mandela, for example, she was under a penny, or a meeting in uh, Brantford in the Free State. Mm. She defied on that day. I mean, on that day, we were surprised. She had some machine and Winnie on top of a kumbi addressing the students. Mm. Now, but we have both Sesama Zibugo, we have got Bishop Tutu, we've got a number of people, whether Ten Monsits, whether Laibona Mabasa, Pule Pule, or Panamukhati, who left with TOT to exile. There are a lot of these people, Tamimazwai, Toman Tata, there are not these Father Mukhati and them. So these people, you know, shortly before the movie starts, it's the special feature. They've got to actually tell the world what happened, how they felt, how they survived, and the families of those who have disappeared without trace have got to say, it, although there's no closure, they've lost their loved ones. All right. Now, this movie, why is it necessary? I mean, we have a similar, should I call it a movie or just a film, mm -hmm. Sarafina, that was talking more or less the same thing about June 16th. So, so Sarafina, they are dancing, it's music. Uh, <laughs> they go, you know, Sarafina, 
uh, has no part where you had sniper fires. People mm. were shooting people like animals in a game reserve. Uh, Sarafina doesn't show people being thrown from the, the tenth floor to their death. Sarafina doesn't depict the torture. You know, people died out of torture. People disappeared. Others were left for exile. You know, others were disabled. Popi, Popi Butelezi was confined. She was shot in the spine. She was con she was first victim of June 16 to be confined in a wheelchair. Mm. She's late. So may her soul rest in peace. But there the are a number of these people that were left disabled. Now, we, we, in a Sarafina movie, it's entertainment because yeah. this is theater. So, so the, this is a film. This is not even documentary. Because if we were to talk like I'm talking now, documentary, we can talk. We'll have a five or ten hour documentary, us talking what mm -hmm. happened. And, you know, no, no. I think it's a thriller. It's a movie. We should bring, among others, an Oscar in this country. But the world must know. Steven Spielberg, you know, defied this American propaganda that the Americans were victorious in Vietnam. To this day, more than 10,000 Americans le went missing in action. We have our own inside of that All right. went missing. No, I do know that you are the executive producer yeah. and there's so much to talk about. But yeah. we, we know there's always been an outcry about uh, Batuba Ektang in such historic uh, movies. movies yeah. I, I, I would want to believe that you want to do away with that. Talk to us about the cast. Is it proudly South African cast on? You talk of the national team. Yeah. We've got a galaxy of stars in this country. Okay. All movies, all soapies in this country, uh, we see our fellow South Africans who are proud, proudly South African. So from your seat, Dingo, to the generation to smile, mm. you can name all this. Mm. We've got our own. So we don't, need, we, we don't need foreign artists to okay. tell our story. The world right. will be able to get the story because we'll market it to all corners of the globe. But I'm saying, yes, it, it is a, it's a, it's a, it, 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 now is the time, it's an idea, whose time has come for us to record this for future generations. Mm -hmm. And thanks to MEC, Banyazele Sufi, Department of Education, Arts and Culture, Gauteng, Ms. May, Faith, Mazibugo, Gauteng Film Commission, SABC. It sounds like quite an interesting one, like you said, but emotional as well. So when are we likely to see it? When is it expected to be out? People are likely to see before June 16 of 2017. You are likely to see a pilot. Of 2017? You may see snippets, a teaser, you know, of what may happen in one of the scenes that will actually shake the country and will mesmerize the world. But definitely, we are not in a hurry. You know, uh, Will Smith, uh, his movie was announced last year, the third episode. It will appear in 2019. So okay. we'll be ready for the Oscars in 2019. All so, right. But people th should stay tuned. We have started the hype now. Caps, T-shirts, everything. Mm. People should uh, pamper stickers. We start now. Yeah. All right. No, thank you. Let's leave it at that. Thank you pleasure. so much. Thank you very much. Viva SBC. Thank you so much, executive producer, for the June 16 movie that will be out uh, snippets just before June 16 this year, but everything out uh, next day. Be on the lookout for that one. Let's take a break here on the show. Still so much more to come. Stay tuned.